Good morning, Floss Tube. Do you remember me? Yeah, um, Kitty Stitcher, formerly known as Kerry Sayers, and before that, Kerry Schofield. Had a few name changes. <laughs> um, yeah, I've decided to get back on Floss Tube. It's been quite a break, although, well, I've not had a break from you, I've still been watching you. Um, yeah, I, especially I've been in hospital a lot recently and I don't know what I would have done without Floss Tube. I'm a stitching, it's uh, got me all through my hospital stay, <laughs> I have to say. Um, but yeah, um, I was vlogging on my other channel, but um, I did decide, and you'll see if you've seen my last message, just to stop vlogging, just simply because I've got nothing to say. Um, but, however, I have decided to sort of borrow um, Mackenzie, the lovely Array's um, idea of doing stitching vlogs. So I'm going to try and do a monthly update of my whips plus a stitching vlog. So you can choose what you want to watch. You can watch the vlog or you can watch the whips or you can watch both. Um, yeah, you have the option. But as of now, I'm just doing a whip video and smart, I mean stash isn't the word because I've been very, very good this year. I decided, well, the group that I'm in, the Mad Chatters group, we decided last year to sort of put ourselves on a stash diet because we've all got enough stash to last a lifetime. And I have been very, very good. So I've literally got a couple of pieces to show you and that's literally all I've bought in this past few months, really. Um, but we'll kick it off with whips, I think. Now, if you've seen any of my older videos, you'll have seen me going on about how I'm a one whip at a time girl. Well, I was up until floss tube broke me um, and I've actually got six on the go at the moment including a round robin um, and that is a lot of it. it's giving me a headache six whips it's too much I don't those of you because I've been following stitch mania and I've been watching like the stash queen and the queen of starts doing their year of starts and I don't know how you do it I really don't <laughs> hats off to you because I've got six whips and what's that oh. And um, I've got two more starts actually coming up because um, my good friend Orietta Stitch is coming over to spend a weekend with me in October. She's flying all the way from Italy just for the weekend to see me. I can't wait. Um, but I'm saying she because I, <laughs> I suppose it was a collective decision but I'm blaming Orietta. I um, decided that we're both going to start our chatelaines that weekend. Um, yeah, which is a bit mad. Um, and my dog's looking at me you're nice <laughs> um, and then um, I've also I'm doing um, a button and beads you know Mill Hill button and beads um, stitch along with the Soulful Stitching Sisters group which I think is in October or November sometime and I'll show you what I bought for that because I didn't have a kit for that but I thought well that hopefully won't take me too long um, but really I'm just working on trying to get a few finishes yes because we're not at any she wants a tummy tickle now because I've not had any finishes really recently so yeah let's kick it off with whips and first of all I'll show you the round robin that I've been working on I just stitched on it yesterday actually this week there's a lorry going past it's a quiet street this but sometimes get lorries come up and down um, so this piece belongs to Bonnie Bonnie Dador who you'll know is um, on Floss Tube and she I was recently watching one of her videos where she showed my piece well, I'm showing her piece now. So this is, I'll show you the pattern first of all. She says, sorry, it's in the packet. It's an ink circles pattern and it's called turtles all the way down. And I've never done an ink circles pattern before, but um, we're not sticking to those colours because she just said to, you know, use our own colours and, you know, see, see whatever we thought. So we've all been choosing our own, our own colours, but... Um, this is how it's looking so far, if I can get far enough back. Oh, of course, you need something dark behind. <laughs> it's too big for it, but that's sort of how it's looking. I see I'm useless this, I'm out of the habit. That's how it's looking so far. But the bit I stitched, I stitched those two there on the bottom. Um, I can't remember the name. I lost the card with that on. That is a Jodry Designs thread, um, which I just love because it's so delicate. It's like lemon, whites and pinks. Um, and then that one is a Moe's Sale and that's Hulk. And I just love the colour of it. But those are my two turtles there. So that's Bonnie's piece. My piece is um, it's penguins, a row of penguins called Penguins on Ice. 
and that's currently doing the rounds. If you watch any of my fellow um, chatty groups, Floss Tube channels, then you might have seen it doing the rounds. But definitely it has been on Bonnie's channel fairly recently. And I think Dee's shown it on her channel as well. I'll just fold that up because with it being black, I want to try and minimise the hairs because the kitty crew have added to it slightly. So it needs to be defulsed before it can go back. Right, that's that side. So, in no particular order, my whips. First of all is the Frosted Pumpkin um, All Around the World thing, which I have to say, I'm not actually loving that much. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing one of these again next year. Um, again, partly to limit the whips, but also just because I've, I've, I'm not particularly enjoying this one and I'm way behind because for a few months my stitchy bug went completely AWOL. Um, I don't know where it went at all. Went on a nice holiday around the world somewhere. but um, So I'm way behind, but I'm trying to catch up. So this is where I'm up to at the moment. You know, I've done January, February, March. So I'm just working now on April and May. I'm just sort of doing it in, um, you know, cross country. Doing it that way. But I want to catch up with this before I, you know, before I do anything else really. So that's my sort of focus piece at the moment. Because I did have a really nice rotation going and it was working really well for me until my stitching bug went. And that was that. But yeah, before I get on back onto my rotation, I want to get up to date with this. And um, the fabric, by the way, it's um, a Jodry Designs limited edition. But again, I've forgotten, forgotten the name of it. But I know it's a 28 count Brittany in an opal. I know that much. So that's that one. I'm just trying to find needle minders as I go along. So just bear with me if I'm, I bought one of these metal boards. I again copying the. Uh, the stash queen but we all get our ideas off each other don't we i mean i certainly can't fill a board like she can in fact probably could have done with a smaller one but and bessie's peeping hello bessie yeah just peeping around there oh and daisy me behind me having a watch um right the next one now this one i've had a lot of progress on um because this is a piece i took into hospital with me and if any of you were following my vlogs you'll have seen i've been in hospital for eight out of nine weeks over the summer i only came out well today is friday i only came out on tuesday i'm trying to stay out the longest i've managed to stay out is a week so far before going back in being unwell so let's see if we can manage more than a week this time just taking it off the cue snap just bear with me but i've made loads of progress on this just take the pattern off as well now uh, this is my christmas stocking um but I've got all my bags out but I've not got because I have each of my projects is in a separate project bag but I've got project bags out but I've got my bits out but this is what I'm doing it's um, Dimensions Gold it's a stocking it's um, Christmas Eve fun stocking and I've been watching um, Little Yellow House and Crafts is it? Nell um, who did her stocking tutorials and I am actually going to be doing following that tutorial to do my stocking to, fit, to finish it but this is where it's up to so far as you can see it's not that far off completion really but so, before I went in hospital all I'd done was the little house there um, so I've done all the sky, charted my name and I've started coming all down here and you can see the stocking has got a shape now and I just literally need to, to fill in. But just for a closer look, you can see it's so pretty. It really is. That's my snowman needle minder. Yeah, so that's that's getting there. I'll just roll that up rather than putting it back on the cue snap. Oh, and the needle minder's attached to the side of the bag. Great. Let's pop that back in there. I'm trying, please excuse me, sort of trying to sort out as I go along, but I don't want to get in such a mess that I'm going to end up struggling afterwards. Um, so, yeah, so that's the Christmas Eve fun stocking. I had planned on getting it finished last Christmas. For last Christmas, that didn't happen. To be honest, even though it's so close, I don't think it's going to be finished for this Christmas because according to my rotate, well, if I can get this up to date, 
it might happen, but you know, I'm spending so long on the frosted pumpkin one, I don't know. But yeah, it, it, it would be nice if I can finish it for this Christmas. That that that's my aim, but we shall see. Right, so that's that one but pattern. Got the pattern in. Poor dog's gonna end up covered in uh, in projects here. Right, oh the next one's a heavy one. <coughs> Thank you, Tammy. <coughs> Just let me pause one moment. <coughs> right, Tammy's finished barking. Sorry about that. But while she was, it gave me a chance to get my next one out because this is my biggest project by far, which again hasn't seen the light of day for ages. Um, but this is my big, giant, massive heaven and earth. This is Ashley Gardens. Um, and I think I'm almost across the top now. Just, just let me check. See, I don't even know where I'm up to page-wise. Page 8. I'm up to page 9. Alright, I'm up to page 9 and there's 10 pages across the top. So I've got two more pages to do across the top. But this is how it's looking so far. It's just sky. <laughs> um, but this needs to go back on the Millennium Frame. I was trying it in a Q-snap, but I'm just... Yeah, I love my Q-snaps for my smaller pieces, but not for my bigger pieces. Um, but yeah, that's it so far. It's just sky. But that's eight pages across the top. I have started trying doing blocks, but um, no, I'm going to go back to my cross country stitching. I, you know, I've I've cross country stitched for like 27 years, and yeah, I'm just not just not particularly loving the uh, the uh, parking and what have you. So just let me try and. Uh, fold this back up, it's all screwed up because it's been in a, a Q-snap for so long um, but that's my my big haid I say big haid because I've actually got two haids on the go uh, pop that back in there right, the next one is oh, this is a Mirabilia but there's just like nothing to see um, just let me remove, see I'm moving needle minders as, as I go um, but this one was for the, I think it was, oh God, I can't remember the name of the challenge, it, it was um, a stitch along with um, cross stitch finish line, but I've forgotten the name of the stitch along, March something or other, I, I, know, I know it was March, started it in March, um, I'll show you what it will look like, oh look, there's my cream! My utterly smooth cream. Yay! <laughs> I'll keep that out. I love that. I'm wondering where that was. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, pattern. Pattern is in here. It is the Queen of Peace, which I've had in my stash for donkeys of years. And I mean donkeys of years. It's at least... Well, I, I know I had it when I moved into this house and I've lived here 16 and a half years. So it's probably getting on for 20 years old, but there's nothing really to, to see. <laughs> that is it. I worked on it for one day and that is it. So, you know, it's uh, not even worth showing really. <laughs> uh, so I'd love to get back to that as well. Put that back in the project bag. And leave that cream out. I hope it's not all dried up. Well, if it has dried up, I'll nice and it's not too expensive. Just let me move a minute. Because oh, my legs have gone to sleep. <laughs> um, right, last but not least is my second Haid, which is a mini. There's a picture. Now, this is uh, Mini Butterfly Pink. I don't know whether you can quite see the picture. But that is what she will look like. She's beautiful. And I'm on page one. <laughs> I'll say page two though. No, I'm only on page one of this. And that's all I've done so far. Just uh, a bit of sky. But again, I was trying parking there, but. Oh look, loads of needle. Oh, the pattern. Don't look at the pattern. I hope you didn't see that then. Um, yeah, more needle minders. Uh, oh, that's a bottle top one. That won't go on, will it? Um, but yeah, it's just 
I don't know. I've just got to buckle down and get this frosted pumpkin one up to date and then I can work then on what I love. You know, get back to my rotation because it was working so well, my rotation. It's the first time I'd ever done a rotation in my life. But I'll say because I've, I've only ever been a, a one, one project at a time girl. But yeah, that's all my needle minders. Well, though I have got a few more coming in the post. I definitely didn't need a board that size, did I? So yeah, that is my what's that there oh another needle minder my mad chatters needle minder there oh, it's missing a back but i'm sure it'll turn up so i've got some spare backs anyway um but yeah that's where i'm up to with my whips um so i'm sorry you can hardly see me now um so stash wise i said there's not really anything much to show you um the past few months when i went to the um what's it called the retreat um i did buy one pattern but um i forgot to get it out well, i bought a couple actually i did buy a couple then um but yeah i forgot to get them out but yeah just recently i've bought this glendon place plum pudding because it's purple i would never ever have stitched anything like this but um i saw lucy slater's i can't remember which one she done it might have been plum pudding um and it's so beautiful so I bought that. Now this one I bought because I did. I have got the companion piece for it. This is like in bed with the crazy cat lady because that is just my bed at night. Apart from I've got a double bed and they take up all the double bed. <laughs> but covered by cats at night, yeah, that's me. So I had to get that, didn't I? Um, and then this is what I bought for the Mill Hill Stitch Along for the buttons and beads. I got Let It Snow. Oh, I think it's actually called Snowfall, and I got the coordinating frame for it. I'd like to get that done for Christmas. And then, while I was in hospital, I bought my mum another Haid, a mini Haid, and I, ha I had to get one off my wish list as well, because you just have to, don't you? So this one's been on my wish list for a, mile, for a while. It's mini Opalite. It's not the best picture, because my print has been a bit funny. It's tending to, pink it, uh, to paint it print everything a bit pinkish but she's so pretty um oh the only other thing i bought i've seen these on a few people's floss tubes channel these double um floss boxes because i have got a ton of dmc but i'm also in the lakeside needle craft floss of the month club or whatever they call it because um it's where you build up a full range of dmc over 12 months and i've so far I got all this DMC <laughs> but what I'm planning on doing is I'm using the double box as sort of my um, master stash you know my master floss stash um, and then I'll just draw from my other DMC's and then use that like I said you know as master stash so yeah so get get down my other DMC stash but know that at least I've got a full set in reserve so I've got a lot of bobbinating to do I was planning on doing that today, but I'm not sure whether I want to now. Um, I might just stitch instead. So yeah, I think that's it really. Um, but like I say, starting from the 1st, I will be doing, which is next Thursday, what a day is it today? 26th of August, I think we are today. So starting on the 1st of September, I will start a stitching vlog. Um, and I'll post that at the end of next month and I'll also come back with a whip update next month so it's lovely to see you all again anyway thank you for sticking by me and yeah I'll see you all soon bye